Today we're going to be talking about removing stubborn furniture marks from your carpet and the best way to do it quickly. Have you ever moved into a new apartment before? Uh, have you ever wanted to shift your furniture around in your room but thought better of it once you saw the nasty little furniture marks in the carpet? Those things are definitely an eyesore. And what I'm going to offer you today in this fast and easy tutorial is pure freedom, liberation from being a slave to the marks in your carpet. No longer are you going to let those furniture marks left by old chairs or couches or even beds determine where your furniture should go. You're soon going to have complete freedom of choice in your space, as we will be returning to the carpet's normal appearance in just a few short hours. Even carpet with years old and green carpet marks, we can fix these too. Are you ready to get started? Great. So the first thing we want to do is get a bucket of ice cubes. Ice cubes from the freezer, you might be asking. Yep, those are the ones. Take your ice cubes and set one cube each two to three inches of carpet disformation. For instance, a mark in your carpet from the leg of a table will be approximately require one or so ice cubes. A lamp base mark, on the other hand, might require three to four ice cubes. You get the idea. Once you've got all the ice cubes placed on the carpet strategically where the fur furniture carpet marks are, let the cubes melt naturally on the floor right on the carpet for about two and a half hours. This probably isn't enough time to let the cube melt completely, but that's okay. Just leave the cubes to sit there for two and a half hours approximately, then come and pick up what's left over of the cubes and drop them into the sink to finish melting. The next step is to flush, fluff up the water-soaked carpet spots. Using your hand or a clean brush, go over the carpet until it starts standing up again. Yeah, the carpet's still wet, but don't worry about that. We're going to be taking care of that shortly. Fluff up, fluff up the wet carpet as best you can until it stands, starts st to stand up properly again. The next step is to grab a cotton towel and get it moist damp with some water. This towel is going to act as a protective barrier on the next step, which is going to be steaming the carpet. Get your iron, set it on high, and place the damp towel over the ice cube wetted carpet marks. Place the towel over them, and once your iron is fully heated, press down through the damp towel and onto the carpet marks with your iron. Make sure to never touch the iron directly to the carpet, or it's going to get burned and ruined. That, that is exactly what the damp towel barrier is there for, is to protect your carpet. So go ahead and repeat this procedure four to five times, and in between each treatment, lift the towel up off the mark and fluff it a bit to lift the carpet more and more each time and eventually your carpet's going to start returning closer and closer to its original state. Once you're completed with that step, the carpet will be very close to being back to normal except that it's still going to be pretty wet. Grab a fan uh, or a blower and do your best to speed dry the wet carpet so that mold and mildew doesn't form. And voila! Perfectly natural carpets again with no nasty furniture marks. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please visit carlsbadcarpetcleaning.org where we have lots of other cool carpet care and upholstery care tips straight from the pros. Your family is our first priority. Thank you for watching and talk again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.